Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be covering how to create an actor in Stencil. Uh, if you guys missed my other Stencil tutorials, um, go check them out. <laughs> I have, I believe, 2.5 before this. Uh, setting up Stencil, creating a tile set, and working with collisions on that tile set. Uh, so in this video we're going to be covering a little bit about collisions uh, again. Pretty much stuff I've already covered. Um, and we're also going to be making a player that uh, can jump, double jump, walk in directions, and uh, things like that. All with pre-made things, uh, so it's easier for you, which is my favorite part about Stencil. Uh, so we're going to go to our actor types. By the way, this is just the tutorial game I have set up, so all of this is stuff I've made in past tutorials. Cool. Uh, so we're going to go to actor types, as you can see we already have stick here, and we're going to make a new one. And I'm just going to title this player. Uh, you can title it anything you want, it doesn't matter, and click OK. Or enter, whatever floats your boat. Now probably, in my opinion, the hardest part of doing this is making a actor. Uh, actually creating the, um, creating the, uh, you know, what he looks like. So that's, I am not an artistic person at all. Uh, so what we're going to do today is uh, either you can download one from here. There's a lot of actors in here that look cool but don't have any purpose other than that. For instance, I don't believe this sword man has one. It's possible. Uh, but in fact, I discovered one today, which is uh, very cool. And I'm going to use this for our tutorial. And this is Link. Uh, it's not truly Link. Uh, it's, uh, it's supposed to look like Link. It's not, it's, yes, it, I'm gonna replace it, thank you. It's already on our thing, uh, already on my thing. On another thing, but I'm just gonna, on another game, sorry, I'm saying thing a lot. Um, so, I'm gonna download that, you can make your own, uh, but for the sake of this video, I am going to keep it simple. Uh, this is just creating a player, um, if you want to worry about animations and things like in this, let me give you a quick demonstration. So we're going to open up our player. And as you can see, this guy's running. You're like, how is he running? Um, in all of these, he has different frames of motion. So this is with his leg kind of up, with his leg up, with his leg kind of down, with his leg all the way down. And then it repeats the process just with his other leg. Um, and then, so once you have all those frames in there, now you have to worry about timing. So as you can see, all of these it seems to be uh, 150 milliseconds. So that is just over a ten, tenth and a half, is that what, uh, kind of, it's like, you guys know what fractions are, um, but yeah, so it's what, 0.15, I'm probably getting that wrong, uh, yeah, it's 0.15, you know, of a second, 0.15, I don't know, I don't know what the words are, God, guys, it's words, it doesn't matter, okay, anyways. So if you guys want to edit that, you can either double click on it or you can click edit frame down here on when you highlight it. And you can change this to whatever you want and that will in turn change the thing. Um, so once we download this, I'm going to, or once you make your thing, you can make it whatever you want. Chances are you're going to want a idle left or idle right, walk left, walk right, jump, all that stuff. Depending on what your character looks like, you can only have one frame, for instance, like in the stick figure. It's just a stick figure, guys. I mean, there's all these other ones, but typically, you just want a stick figure. So you can have a stick figure with no walking animation. Everything is fine. It doesn't matter. So typically, I believe in the game I have right now, it's just a stick figure. We don't have any jumping animations. We don't have any walking animations. It's just the stick figure. So it's okay if you're not trying to make your game completely professional and you're kind of just testing the waters a little bit on how to make these things. Uh, I would leave artwork to be something handled later uh, than sooner. Sooner you should probably get the idea of your game in your head and uh, kinda get the basics down, get the engine down, like how your players move, how your enemies will move, how your enemies will affect your health and things like that, which is something I'll cover in a later video. Um, so yeah, now that we have all of our things done, now what we're gonna d do, assuming you created all of these, in behaviors, we have nothing. In events, we have nothing, which is something I'm not going to cover today. Uh, in collisions, this is something very important. Chances are you won't have any collisions on your thing if you just made it. So we're going to have to add some collisions. This guy, um, I believe, does have collisions. Thank God. Because uh, there's so many frames, it would take 
hour. But how you had a collision is very similar to uh, point. Uh, sorry, ver uh, episode 2.5 of our simple tutorials. Um, and you either add a box. In this case, you can add a circle. Um, or you can add a polygon, which is something we worked with previously. So I'm sure you guys know how to use polygons by now. If you guys haven't seen the last tutorial, go check it out. This will help you a lot. Because I'm not going to cover it too much in this video. Uh, we can zoom in up here and zoom out right here. So we can zoom in on our player. Uh, sometimes when you're working with these, the polygons will be thrown off. Uh, and so sometimes you might have to like zoom out a little bit, then grab it. It's sometimes easier to zoom out, then grab it, then zoom back in. If that makes any sense. Uh, but basically what we're doing here is adding a collision box. So these yellow points are where you will run in. It's pretty much the hard part of your character. So that's where your character will stop once it hits another collision point. So like on a block or something. Um, so you can place these wherever. You can add another one by clicking this plus sign. And like I said previously, it's way over here. So if we zoom out, maybe it'll help. Or maybe if we just get rid of this and just put all of these in the center, it'll help. That's something that helps a lot too. Maybe not. Maybe it just hates me. I don't know. Um, typically when you work with a very small one like this, uh, that's what she said in a, another tutorial, um, it's going to be difficult. To, I believe this is like 16 by 16, maybe like 20 by 20. Uh, so it's smaller. You typically want to make your character like 64 by 64, when you're, which is the default, by the way, if you're worried about that. Um, but uh, So I'm not going to worry about this collision, but if you want to, you can click a box um, type in your width and height, which is something I've already covered previously, uh, and your position. So I'm not going to worry about too much in collisions just because I've already covered it. So if you guys want to learn about collisions, go check out 2.5 and worry about it then. Uh, so in physics, this is very important. Very important. Especially with this character that you download because it's dumb. Okay, so there's a lot of different things. There's general, heaviness, material, damping, and advanced. Uh, pretty much the only thing you're going to have to worry about is general. All right, You're going to want effect, affected by gravity to yes. Uh, if you have gravity in your scene, uh, then you want him to be affected by gravity. That way when he jumps, he comes back down. Okay, uh, Can rotate. You want that to be no. For God's sakes, you want that to be no. Freaking annoying. I hate it. No. Seriously, have it on no. It sucks. And then what kind of actor type? On normal. Uh, you can also worry about this thing. I don't know what you would want it for, but you can. Uh, you can have bounciness. So maybe you want your thing to bounce. I don't know, like a ball. That's something. Uh, and then all of this stuff as well. <laughs> and this is for iOS, can be touched. All that shenanigans. Okay, but we're not going to worry about that. And then you can go to properties and change the player's names. I'm going to name it Link because that is what it is. Um, and you want to click rename actor type and then it will be link. In the description you can be like, it's a guy, yo. And now it's a guy, yo. And uh, also, down here in groups you want to change this to players. Oops, players. Makes it easier uh, to navigate and understand what you're doing, especially when there's a lot of people on screen. Um, so now we can save that by control S on a Windows machine. And if we go into our scene, oh wait, no, we're not even we're not even near done yet, guys. Come on, come on, guys, get your head in the game. Gotta get you get no, okay. <laughs> okay, now what we're gonna want to do is go into Simple Forge. Um, as you can see, I've already downloaded things because pfft, that's what I do, and I believe I've downloaded these in the past. I may no, I believe actually it came with when we installed our sticky guy, but I'm gonna show you anyways. You want to go to resource packs. Very important resource packs in our stencil forge. Uh, go to most useful, or you can search platform move platformer movement. That's what you want. Download that. Okay, I'm gonna download. I'm gonna click download. I believe I already have them, or at least most of them. And there you go. Now they're all there. What we're gonna want to do is first add on ground. You can do this in any fashion, but it's I just do it in this fashion. Uh, what I like about this uh, pack in general is um, in this section right here, it kind of gives you information. Not in this one particular, but in others. I'll explain that in a second. But it's very nice. So when you put on on ground, limit to tiles, check that. Cool. Now we can exit out a link just because I hate them. 
Just kidding. Okay. Now we're going to add walking. And now you understand. Okay, so right here. No, it doesn't help at all. God dang it. Okay. I'll, I'll explain in a second. Attached actor type. Link. Okay. Now this is where it gets tedious. Okay. Ex uh, acceleration. This is how fast your player will get up to its max speed. Uh, if you have max speed enabled. Um, otherwise, it will just get very fast. Um, so, acceleration, I'm going to put it to 50, which is norm what I normally put it on. Um, max walking speed, 30. You know, because YOLO. And chances are you're going to want to click limit speed just because. That's what I normally do, and you should do too. Uh, move right key, uh, we're going to do... Right, of course, duh. Uh, move left, left, no way, saw that coming. Uh, idle right animation, this is where you start putting in your animations. This is why I recommend you title them. Uh, so link, idle right, idle left, walk right, walk left, no way, really, okay. Um, and that's that, so that is for walking. So now if we were to test our game right now, we would be able to walk, cool. Uh, all right, now what else do we want? Oh, look, hey, Facebook. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Thanks. Thanks for beeping. I haven't seen you in a while. Just kidding. Okay, jump. Let's add some jump in this because jumping is always fun. Okay, attach that. Okay. This is what I'm talking about right here. Um, so, as you can see right here, in the comments, it says, on ground, Boolean, uh, on ground behavior required. Okay. So, if you're wondering why something isn't working, check this comments and it'll be like, yo, this is required. So now, you know. The more you know. Dun -dun. Okay. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Jumping. So, we're going to put our jump key to action one. Because I'm a rebel. You can put it to anything. Um, jump force. I'm going to leave that all default. Uh, jump right animation. Yes, we have one. Cool. Jump left animation. Cool. You can also put a jump sound if you want a jump sound. I'm not going to put a jump sound, but it's very simple. If you were to go into Stencil Forge, download a sound, and I guess I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm guess I'm gonna show you one right now. Jump. Is there a jump? Oh no, not player jump. Jump. Mario jump. Look at that. Awesome. I love Mario. One of my favorite games ever. We can play it, and that's the Mario jump. No way. Saw that coming. So if we exit out of that and we go into sound, ah, oh, god dang it, it proved me wrong. Ah, uh, uh, the pain, the pain. Okay, <laughs> let me try, let me try going to our actor types again. Maybe it needs a refresh, or maybe it's just being stupid. These are all possibilities. Jump, sound. Yeah, there we go. It just needs a refresh. So Mario jump. Now when we jump, we get Mario sound jumpness. Cool. So now we have jumping enabled. All that's working awesomely. Uh, if we go back into here, <laughs> look, it, I never noticed that, but it duplicated everything when I downloaded it again. Wow, that was a lot of EDs. Was that an ED? Pfft, I don't know. All right, next thing. What else do we need? Oh, we need double jump, which is air jump in this case. So, attach to actor type, link. Um, max jumps. I don't want 999. Alright, I'm going to put two. This is a simple double jump. you got to have a triple jump. Okay, I don't care. Aw, oh, crap. I forget what our jump key was. I think it was action one. <laughs> uh, this doesn't matter. Um, I don't recommend actually putting it. Choose animation. Jump right. Jump left. There we go. Awesome. Now we have air jump. So now we have walking, jumping, air jumping. Now, there's one last thing you're going to want to download from Stencil Forge, which I highly recommend you download because it's amazing. Uh, we're going to go to Home just because it searches for everything. And we're going to click, I mean, we're going to type in Follow in the search bar. Okay? Now, we're going to want to download Camera Follow Player. This will essentially follow your player. I already have it, so I'm not going to download it. You should download it, though. Uh, this will follow your player wherever he goes. All right? It's very important. Uh, that way he doesn't walk off the screen. Unless he walks off the screen. <laughs> uh, no. That way he doesn't like walk off into a part of your level that, you know, you know what I'm talking about. That is created, but your camera isn't moving. So guess what? It's not doing anything. 
So now we're going to go into here, and we are going to go into other. And right here, camera follow player will be in the other folder. We're going to attach to our actor link. Oh, crap. Okay. Link. And there we go. Now we're going to leave these blank. Uh, we're going to leave those on zero because that's what I like to do. Now if we test our game, hopefully it'll work and I don't look like a complete idiot. Wait, I don't think I put link in. I don't think I put link in. Okay, that's also something you should consider doing before you test it. <laughs> Let's exit all of this crap because I don't care. Uh, go into scene, scene one. Uh, click on our sick figure that is currently in there and delete it. Go in actors, link. There you go. Um, and click test game. Blah, blah. And as you can see, he is affected by gravity. Oh, look at that. I hear the sound. Except the double jump doesn't make the sound, but it's okay. But it's super cool. And it's like a legitimate game. Um, I don't know why. Uh, oh, wait. We're going to need one more thing. One more thing, people. Okay. Uh, we are going to want to find... Where is this? Animation manager. Something you want. Attach that to link. And then... We want a default right animation, which would just be our idle. Default left. Cool. Test game. Now, hopefully, this will work. Yeah, there we go. Now we got animations, peeps. Now we got animations. And look, he's jumping. Oh my gosh. Now he's making the sword. This thing is so much cooler than I thought it was. Ah, okay. Cool. And it looks like I put in the wrong animation. So now, like, <laughs> I put in the wrong animation. So now it's just, like, walking right when I... <laughs> Okay, okay, let's fix that. So if we go, oops, hello. If we go into jumping and we go, see, look, it's I'm on walking right. What am I thinking? I gotta do jumping left. Now, now it'll fix itself. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so that's how you do that, guys. Uh, if you, yeah, now that's the end of the video. Um, if you enjoyed, please leave a like. And make sure to check out my crap on Stencil Forge. Uh, you can find my crap by searching Hopeful Ewok. Oops. Ewok. Haha. <laughs> okay. Hopeful Ewok. Come on! No, no, oh, not in behaviors. I don't have any behaviors. I'm not that cool. On home. Oh, look! News and noteworthy. I mean, new and noteworthy. Look, it's my adventure pack. That's very cool. Uh, but let's see if it actually search. Okay, so now I have the adventure pack on here. Uh, which was used in the video, which I actually have a new version out, so if you guys want to see that. And then I have just a normal Ewok that comes equipped with all these crap, so if you guys want to use that, you can use that too. Um, and actually I have added a screenshot of all the things. Um, just basic blocks, added lava, I added a new castle block, and I added fence posts. So if you guys want to check that out, make sure to do so, and I will see you guys later. Bye!